I know I'm looking horrible right now, you guys, but I just want to say I love this belt right here. Just trying to see if it shows all the sweat on. Ooh. Can y'all see all that? Literally 30 minutes in the bathroom, two stepping, not really backing it up or whatever. Just simple two step, 30 minutes. I sweat like crazy. Now let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, so I've been dreading this video because I really did not want to say my weight. I couldn't believe myself that I even got myself to that. I told myself I would never, ever, ever, ever hit 200. I told myself I would never hit 200. But I, when I got on the scale, and I'll show the scale right here, um, it did weigh me a kilogram. So I'm also going to show, you know, the kilograms to, to pounds. Um, I came out to 202 point, 202 point something. I'll put it on the screen um and i nearly cried i nearly cried but i already felt it you know your body knows your body knows i felt it i just felt heavy breathing i felt i felt like it was hard for me to get up i felt you know i constantly had high blood pressure i went to the doctor twice and i had high blood pressure so my doctor prescribed me a high blood pressure uh monitor machine or whatever that i have over there in the box and every day i check myself and i had high blood pressure and it's scary for me to be so young and things like that for me to have all the complications that i'm having and it just it just made me wake up and i haven't weighed myself in a minute but when i got on that scale and i seen what that was it it woke me up it woke me up it woke me up immediately so i immediately made this chart i'm not sure how much you can see but and it um has the date how many steps i took water intake food cardio um which it says S weight, that's the start weight, and then E weight is the end weight. So I've been tracking all my stuff on here just so I can bring it back and say it in a video because I did say I was going to keep you guys updated. So for the first day, my first day, I was 202.7, I think. 202.8, almost 203 pounds. And um, that's the day I Googled. I Googled on how much steps to take to lose weight and it said 10,000 steps a day for weight loss and then I also googled how much water intake I should be getting a day for weight loss and it said 64 ounces so that's kind of what I was going off of for my for my steps in my water so let's just get started April 7th the first day that I started this I took 13,000 steps um 33 ounces of water so I did not reach my goal but as far as food I had a half a pound a half a pound I had a half a breakfast burrito, two strawberries, and chipotle chicken salad. Then for my cardio, it says NA because I did not do any cardio. So day two, um, April 8th, it, I only had 11,000 steps. I actually over exceeded my goal for water. I had 84 ounces of water. I ate the other half of my breakfast burrito. Then I had for dinner, keto fried catfish and six baked fries um i tried all kind of alternatives i did i tried them i tried them i cannot stand zucchini fries i cannot stand in any of those i tried so i just now take what the bag says so if the bag says you know 12 pieces for this many calories and this many carbs i literally even do half of that so if it says i can only have 12 pieces of fries on there for that many calories that many carbs I do I just eat six you know that way I'm still getting my my taste of fries I'm getting it oh well I know it's only like a quick taste a little sample but I still get what I want um so I guess that's kind of portion controlling because I was supposed to portion control and honestly at this list if I keep going on y'all gonna wonder like how did I even lose weight because I ate quite a bit I ate quite a bit um as far as that cardio that day I did 15 minutes of dance so for April 9th, the next day, I had 14,000 steps, 63 ounces of water, 
and uh, I'm trying to see. Oh, I have rotisserie chicken with green beans, potatoes, and mixed veggies. I had no cardio that day. Also, there was rice. I also had rice that day too. I don't know why it's on there. What's well, not on there? I probably just forgot to write it down, but I literally had the rotisserie chicken with the potatoes and green beans. I had like that over rice with some, you know, shrimp and veggies mixed. So that was quite, that was actually kind of heavy because it was actually really good. So I also got, wouldn't have seconds. But during this whole time, I am intermittent fasting, you guys. I only ate from five to, to nine. I did not eat past that. I did not eat past that. Five to nine was my window. So most of the time I ate around seven or 8.30. Um, and that was it. So April 10th, I only took 10,000 steps. I did drink 78 ounces of water. And for food um, at 5, 5.30, I had a turkey and cheese sandwich with eight chips. And then for dinner, I ate the same thing as the day before because it was just that good. I have that rotisserie chicken with potatoes and green beans. I did not mix it with rice this time. I did not. I just ate it like that because I already knew I kind of messed up, you know. But again, no cardio. Okay, and then on April 11th, I this was the weekend. You could tell this was the weekend because there's no way I'm standing this still at my job. So yeah, April 11th, I only took 960 steps. I didn't even hit 1,000. I only drank 32 ounces of water. And then as far as food, I had Popeye's chicken. I had the chicken tenders and shrimp basket. And then later on that day, and I didn't intermittent fast this day either. This day was pretty much a break day. And then later on, I had a half, barely even half. I took a few bites of the masala fries. If you watch my video, I had made the kids nachos. It was like nacho night and I made me a soda fries on the side. It was good. But something in my body, maybe because I ate and I messed up my whole little cycle. I'm so used to eating from, you know, five to nine. And I had eight Popeyes like at 12 o'clock that day, like literally at noon. And... I don't know if it threw me off or whatever, but when it came time for me to eat the masala fries, I literally took like three three bites and I threw it away. Like I well, I left it out and then I threw it away the next day. I couldn't eat it. I couldn't eat it. It just wasn't it wasn't messing with me. So I don't know if my body has started to change or what, but I just couldn't eat it. So come on to um April twelfth. I had two thousand six hundred steps, only sixteen ounces of water. That was the least water that I've had. And then it says chips in seven layer dip. So this had to be Easter. That was Easter Sunday. I had the chips in seven layer dip at my mom's house. I had two pieces of chicken, some potato salad. And then also I had a fun size Twix. I also had two tacos and I was drinking alcohol that day. Again, no cardio. So I had a whole bunch of stuff. I literally had, I ate almost that whole day. Oh, it says also hot fries. I also had a bag of hot fries, bag of hot Cheetos. So your girl was picking that day. Monday, April the 13th, April the 13th, I got back into my steps because I was at work. 11,000 steps, 52 ounces of water, two piece grilled chicken, shrimp and mixed vegetables. And then later on, I had a turkey and cheese sandwich. So this was the sixth day. Now I'm going on my seventh day with the results, okay? So on my seventh day, April 7th, so this is now April 14th, seven days later, I had took 8,000 steps. I only drank 32 ounces of water, so here you go, your girl getting lazy. And um, I had four mini chicken tacos and three no not three four well, that's too much i know i didn't do that much i have four mini chicken tacos and i have one asada taco and i had a handful of hot fries um when i got on the scale that day i did not this is where i messed up i did not record it but i got on and i was actually 196.7 pounds so i lost weight i lost weight i lost six pounds i lost around six pounds and um 
that day i did have cardio on the the last seventh day i realized i messed up on the weekends i drank alcohol i was not intermittent uh fasting i was eating just anything i wanted to and i was just doing too much so on that day i actually did work out um i did a 30 minute dance with my sweat belt um so literally that day i was 196 in the morning before i before i worked out and after i ate all that food i worked out like crazy i'm just like man i messed up man i messed up i probably didn't lose anything i probably didn't lose anything i got on the scale the next day the 15th i'll put that here i couldn't believe me getting back on the scale and i did this because i wanted to record it i'm like man i messed up i didn't record yesterday i wanted to show them my 196 and i went on the scale to get to show you guys that 196 and i was even i was surprised i was surprised to be 194 so now instead of six pounds i technically lost eight not in the seven days on the pretty much the eighth day on the on the eighth day it was a total of eight pounds so so far even though i messed up even though i ate extra added rice had seconds uh especially easter your girl picked out and i still lost a total of eight pounds in eight days so i'm i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing which is my ten thousand steps a day drinking 64 ounces of water and keep intermittent fasting because it's still working it's still working and i'm gonna add in that dance because literally for me to jump from 196 to 194 overnight after doing 30 minutes of dancing was ridiculous like all the other days i wasn't really weighing myself but if i did go up and down i know it wasn't no two pounds i know it wasn't so for me to add in that dance that dance added just it changed things tra like traumatically so what i am going to do is i'm going to add a 30 minute dance at least three times a week and that's just what i'm going to do because i sweat like crazy i had to show you guys that clip in the beginning because it's literally ridiculous how much i sweat and how much i don't know how many calories i'm burning but it's crazy like i'm doing a two-step like i'm doing a two-step like i'm not even really like no i told myself i need to do a two-step all the way through and then at least to one song really go crazy twerk it out dance and go and give it my all for the last dance but literally i couldn't believe it i can't believe that i'm really down eight pounds in 80s simply from intermittent fasting drinking water and making sure my, i get my steps in so i i'm just happy i'm ecstatic I hope next time I do my next week update that I'm in the 80s somewhere, which means that I'm still going down. I'm still going for it. My goal is, my goal is 155. I haven't seen 155 in a long time. I haven't seen 155 until I, after I have my son. My son's six years old. So I haven't seen 155 in six years. Um, that's the goal. Uh, other than that, I feel like this chart helps me as motivation because it's like, oh, did I write in my chart today? Which means, oh, I have to have something to write down, which means I have to do what I need to do to write something down on this chart. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys are back next week to see my next week's progress. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.